Okay, and welcome to another how-to video. Today we're going to show you two new cameras. One is released. It's the uh, PIR or Dome uh, Turbo TVI camera with built-in PIR white light uh, flashing sensor to scare or highlight your people doing naughty things to your property. The second camera we're going to look at a little bit later on after we've shown you the first one is the new um, color view. Uh, in, it's a two megapixel camera, ultra low light in the turbo range, new sensor, and it's also got a permanent white light. Both very, very good cameras, you'll see now. So if you look at, if I just take the mouse, you'll see on the right hand side of the screen, you've got the two megapixel um, bullet camera here. So if I walk down here, still brilliant. Just press play on this. Still brilliant image. Uh, if I go back to there and go, to, this is the new color view camera. So it is still ultra low light, two megapixel. As time goes on, you'll get a much better, higher resolution. We did show these at IFSAC last week, so if any of you were lucky enough to attend, you would have seen the great image quality that was produced. So if I go back. So, a couple of things then. So what you need to do is, it's a standard camera. When you plug it into the Turbo DVR, so you do need the HQHIK or the HUHIK range for this to work. When you plug it in, you'll be able to then set this PIR camera for false alarm management. So you can have it motion and PIR activation together as a filter will then do a, a linkage action. So it, not only will it do that, it'll also flash when someone comes near your property and the PIR detects the presence of somebody walking around. To one, highlight the objects, so you get a, um, a, a sort of a more color, better image. And the second one is obviously to scare them away, to show they're being monitored. Obviously scaring someone away quickly is very advantageous in this industry that's the name of the game that's why we exist that's why we're here so if i look at the pir bullet for instance now if we then go to the ptz menu if i call up the menu itself you do this with the ocd so once we've actually so preset 95 or the menu button will do exactly the same thing you'll see there's a presented with some options if we go down to white light and you've got alarm white light light in so the uh, light will come on at night and just stay on off so if you don't want this uh, to come on if it's causing a nuisance or you just don't like it you can turn it off we're going to turn it back to alarm next is the trigger mode so it tells the dvr when the pir is activated and looks for the secondary motion detection if you've got it as a standalone or on a dvr that doesn't you can actually turn that to camera mode so only the camera will activate it doesn't send that notification to the dvr so you can use it on third party systems um, just for the trigger mode or you can use it um, with an older dvr perhaps where you want this functionality but you don't have the dvr to, for the false alarm check-in we're going to make it alarm and dvr mode and we'll go back to main menu iris open is the enter and we'll go to save and exit right so next stage come out of that menu we'll go into the main menu itself you go into the camera tab motion detection on the left hand side you look for this camera two megapixel PIR bullet camera just label this nice and easy for us to find you've got there enable motion detection and enable false alarm detection tick so the camera and the motion detection on the DVR are working synchronously so both have to trigger for us to then cause the linkage action what we'll do is the motion detection will leave us halfway that's pretty standard nowadays and the settings just to show you working we're going to do the trigger channel is four arm in schedule a linkage action we'll do audible warning and full screen monitoring to show you it's working so we'll apply that but you could do all the normal send email trigger alarm output capture images etc so okay that what we will do is draw a motion detection grid around here and apply so if, rather than having the whole screen we're going to do the PIR and the motion grid in that area there so the PIR is fixed we can't change this uh, field of view for the PIR itself we can adjust the motion so I'm going to walk through here now both will trigger and then you'll get the activation full screen so there we go it's gone full screen and you can see the white flickering light if I now turn the actual lights off so wait for that to stop so I'm still here it's returned 
into normal mode. So you can see, if I then go and activate it again, you can see the white light flickering. That's very strong and telling me instantly there's a warning. Please vacate the premises. You can see the white light in the image. You can see the lights back on. And you can see it doing its job. So, next thing, if I go back to the camera, what I will do is turn the linkage action off and the motion, because it'll keep doing it as we do the second part. We'll do linkage action. We'll just turn off full screen and audible warning. So that could be used in conjunction and go to say, a push notification to your app, monitoring station, emails, all of that. Same rules for linkage action apply. The next bit I wanna show you. So if you look at our secondary camera here, you'll see there's a new camera model here. This is the actual, this one here is the actual color view one. So around the front here is like a smiley panda mouth. Currently fixed lens versions, dome, turret, bullet, this is an actual white light. So if I turn the flashy white light down, so we look down there so we get out of the way, I'm gonna now turn off all of the lights. So it's very dark in here. What we should see shortly is that white light come on. There we go. So that's a permanent white light. So you can see that that light there is actually very strong. Permanently lights up the area. If I stand in front of it, you can see it's actually this uh, color view one here. So if I stand in front of the camera now, the white light enhances the view. You can clearly identify me whilst giving a warning that there could be recording going on. So you've got two options. You've got this, the flashy white deterrent or the permanent white light in the new color view range. You see that's a really nice, very, very low lux level camera. I'm gonna turn the lights back on. Last time I turned all the uh, lights off. Scary things happened to me. So, we've run through a couple of solutions to you. Now this white light here, now the light's on, will go off, so we're replicating the daytime. Let me just put this camera back, up there, to go like that. And what you will see after about 30 to 60 seconds, so there you go, it's returned to normal day mode. And that is what I wanted to show you for today on the how-to video was the two solutions with white light in the PIR with strobe light effect um, to quickly disperse anyone is in the area or enhance lighting level and light with a white light to give you more detail and as a warning. Hope you enjoyed the video. We're back at them now, so we'll see you on the next one next week. Enjoy the week. See you soon. Keep subscribing, keep sharing, keep commenting, get involved. If you want anything specific, please ask and we'll cater for that. See you soon, guys.